Rodrigo. And this is our first Q&A video together. Yeah. So, Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> this has been on YouTube already. Again. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we decided to do like a little Q&A, you know, because y'all always in our motherfucking business. Always. Bitch. So we took some questions. I'm reading all y'all questions right now on Instagram and on TikTok. And we're going to pick a few. Rodrigo's going to go first with the first question. Yeah, bitch. And then... <laughs> Do I got to go first? I'm going to go next. So, pick a question. Y'all, we going through the questions right now. So, he going to pick a question from his Instagram. I'm going to look too. All right. It's like when the spotlight get on me, it's like, damn. Okay, so my first question is... Hurry up, ho! <laughs> What's my favorite movie? <laughs> I ain't want to start. All right. Well, my <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite um my favorite movie is um Norbit or <laughs> I'll go with White Chicks or I'll go with Girls Trip. Those are my yeah, you got favorite. three favorite movies. Yeah, like that's a movie I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna run to and go see. Like those are my like funny movies. Yeah. Okay, my favorite movie. <laughs> Is I like ATL, but then I also like Carmen. A lot of people don't know about Carmen. Like only I feel like only the real bad bitches know about Carmen. But Beyonce, the hip hop bro, I love that movie. That's a good movie. Okay, the next question it says uh, your favorite thing about each other. I know yours is gonna be real long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go first. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite thing about Rodrigo is that he's funny as fuck. So at first, me and Rodrigo, we were supposed to be living together temporarily, and this bitch never left. And then, <laughs> but then he had came and he was like here for a long time, and I was like, damn, like it's actually really fun, like having Rodrigo as a roommate. Like you know, all we do is laugh. I was going through like depression. I was dating this guy in like 2019, he passed away, and I was just like in like the darkest place that I had ever been in. And then Rodrigo just so happened to be coming like, you know, a little bit after that. No, I was coming all the time. Bitch, I'm talking to stay. Oh, to stay. Oh, damn, yeah. That's a and that bitch is funny. Like, y'all, y'all think what y'all see on the videos are funny? Like, Rodrigo is. <laughs> 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 Rodrigo is funny as fuck. Like when I said we be in here laughing all day, like I wish we just had cameras around the house. Like, we'd be cracking up all <laughs> we'd be cracking up all day. Like so that's my favorite thing about Rodrigo. Like his personality. And he's a very giving person. Like he will give his last to somebody. And he's super funny and like he will he will put you before he even put himself. Like he's a he's a good person. Damn, you got all sentimental you gotta get me cry. <laughs> But my favorite thing about Kiara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my favorite thing about Spotlight is okay. First is her cooking. Two, that she know how to do everything. Like once she put her mind to do something, like she's gonna get it done. Like she's gonna get it done. Three, she gives me like mom vibes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like. My mama was always there for me, so then mom, now I have my mama up here, like, and then beating her, it's like, she gave me that mom vibe, so she's really, like, a big sister. Four, I mean, four is that she's very, like, she could be a bitch, but she's very, very, like, when she care for you, like, she's a very hard, like, what is it? Warm, warm-hearted person. Yeah. Like, and then... She funny as fuck. Like, she say I'm funny as fuck. No, but she's, like, funny as fuck. Like, she's what brings the funny... I don't know how to explain it, but she's a character. Like, she is funny as fuck. Like, she's really funny as hell. Like, I guess that's why we get along. Yeah. Because we both funny as... Like, two clowns in a pot. <laughs> oh, that's what you don't get! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Next question. She's funny as fuck. Next question. Okay. Okay, you got to make a question. Okay, so the next one, this one they always ask it on the live. What's our zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio. And I'm a cancer and emotional ass bitch. Damn. I'ma cry about it and then I'm gonna be like, fuck y'all. Don't <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, and the cancer could be very shady. That's what. That's another one. <laughs> no shade with it. No shade with it. Next question: Dream vacation. So my dream vacation is Santorini, Greece. Like y'all know that picture where it's like it'd be like all white, and then it's like uh I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like a bunch of different views. But if you know, you know. I want to go there. Yeah, I just want to be like looking over the water and just like. I don't think that as fun as it as for what's your dream vacation. This is my dream. Yeah, <laughs> but the dream vacation, like, where did you want to go? Not what you want to do at the moment. I don't think that was part of the question. But my dream vacation <laughs> is, <laughs> to be honest, I don't have like a dream vacation, but I just want to go to like right now. I just want to go to an island, like any island. Like, I just want to go by the beach and just smell the beach, the salt water. Damn. I need a vacation. We don't even, let's not even talk about vacation because I need one so bad. Because <laughs> we want to talk about our problem. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do together? Laugh. Laugh. Crack jokes. <laughs> Just laugh. Crack jokes. <laughs> like laugh Yo, all day. No, for real. Take everything as a joke. No, seriously. Not even, we really do everything together. We do. Like, but not really, cause I don't take a shit with her. But y'all know. What I don't shower with him. <laughs> but like a lot of, <laughs> a lot of stuff we do together. <laughs> the next question said, "What made you choose Tampa as a place to live?" Okay, so no, just <laughs> <laughs> like, we was really just waiting for Roger to move through. We really want to go to Houston. Roger gonna graduate. I mean, Roger gonna graduate. Yeah, we really want to go to Houston. Well, I really want to go to Houston, but. They not to the pack up and leave all the way across the states right now. Mm -hmm. So it's like we could just go close to the home right now, still stack our money, and then go to Houston later. Next question. Mm. Rob, do you plan on getting married? Right now, I am young. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready for marriage. So anytime soon, no. But by the time like I'm like 33, maybe 33, 34. Got everything settled, bought a house, everything good, then yeah, I'll probably be married by then. I do want a wedding. A nice big wedding. A big, big, nice wedding. Damn. I hope you got a nice big red money. I hope it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> do I plan on getting married? No. Here we go. <laughs> they, just two weeks ago, it was a yes. Now is the no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is funny. But um, y'all like, see you the clown for real. <laughs> I do want to get married. I do want. I want to have. I want to get married. I want to have like five kids. I want to be like the Hustables, but without Bill Cosby, because you know what they had to say about him. Mm. Oh yeah, the Hustables, but with my man, not Bill. Mm. Then we even saying their names. Oh. We we we've been, we've been forgetting to say our names. We sorry, but we gonna start right now. <laughs> this <laughs> this question is from Charmaine. Hey Charmaine. Hey. It says, do you do you sometimes get tired of having people so much? This gonna take time. Wait. Do you sometimes get tired of having people so much of your lives out there? I don't know what that was supposed to say, but we are gonna try to bring it down. I guess it's asking like, do you get tired of people being like so much into your lives? Honestly, with me personally, I let the like social media know what I want them to know or what I don't care about them knowing. Like things that I like love and I feel like it's sacred to me, I keep private. Honestly, as far as like getting tired of people being in our lives, people are only into what we allow them to be into. Like for me personally, like I don't really have I don't really have to where like I get annoyed with people to you know what I'm saying. I fuck with y'all. It's the game for real, not for pay. Shout out to the mafia. And her life is a movie, so <laughs> like her life is interesting. Like <laughs> the game, know it for real. Her life is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like I be so intrigued in her story. She be saying it three times, and I still hear the story again. Like I be like, girl, your life is a movie. Like, okay, what was the most craziest moments y'all ever experienced together? Mm, the craziest moment is when that boy had a gun at Devontae's house. <laughs>
Y'all know if you were Tallahassee, you were to college, yeah, they be having the, what is it? Social. Uh, social. Getty. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like, they don't say Getty. Because when I came up here, they were like, Getty. It's like, what's a Getty? They do social. Whatever. Get so together. It's, it's a social. Like, a social is, yeah, like, a, they get a kid together. So, mm-hmm. this boy, he had, like, a little get together at his house. And, you know, we sitting there vibing. You know, that's when we all started first. We all worked at Applebee's. Like, everybody that was there worked at Applebee's. Except for, like, some of his friends. Like, some of his friends didn't work at Applebee's. And um, we was there just big vibing, you know, just sitting like this on the stools, just chilling. And all of a sudden, they start, his friends, they like boys, they start arguing, like going at it. <laughs> like, we, we sitting still, like, just like this, sitting down looking, like, what the hell going on? And then one of them had a gun. Oh, shit. All right, one of them had a gun. So, we, Zaria, she's like, <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Uh, you know? <laughs> Zaria don't play that shit. Exactly. It's like, like what the fuck? You ain't got a gun. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, we try to find our way out of there. Like, he only, he only got like a balcony door, like, which is the sliding door, and then he got a, um, a front door. A front door. But mind you, we on the, like, the second floor. So we like, how the hell is we gonna get, like, out the balcony, like, <laughs> To get to the bottom. I mean, to get out of the apartment. Like, because they had the door. So, I guess the boy had the gun waving it at the other boy. So, we trying to find our way. Trying to get out of the situation. Like, trying to find. Like, it was like, it's the escape room. Like. <laughs> so, we trying to find our way. So, then we we started. We went to um the balcony. When we got to the balcony, there was like a white door. And then when we seen the white door. Like, you know when you in Insidious and you see the red door? That's how, we, that's how I saw the white door. The white door was like the heaven of gates. Like, <laughs> like, let's get out. Let's go. So we all went to that door. And when you open that door, it had stairs. So, like, it was stairs, like, to go down to the floor, to the ground. So then we just all ran out. And we was like, forget the party. Forget it. We ain't going back. <laughs> how did y'all meet and get so close? Okay, so what a lot of people don't know is, like, a lot of people feel like me and Rodrigo are really, like, blood siblings. Like, we don't have the same mom, the same dad. We have, like, the same father. Our father, all out in heaven. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I try to, I try to, I try to get too strong, y'all. But, you know, God, God is our spirit, you know? Exactly. We, like, siblings through yeah, so God, Jesus. God. Through God, yeah. So, we met at Applebee's. And we became like close to there. Like first we would be FaceTiming all the time. And then every time I do go get mad at Andre, he'd be like, fuck this bitch, fuck this shit, here. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> and I was living in a two one by myself. Like it was just me in my apartment. So I just was like, I'll put a couple stay over there for a few months so I get my stuff together. <laughs> then cause fuck this shit. So I'm like, okay. He'll come over here with all his shit, shit bitch. Suitcases, everything, like he done, he done. He'll load up the room, <laughs> unpack it, <laughs> give him a little comforter for the day. <laughs> Chump for real, like he so he stayed, he kept all his stuff, but then guess what happened? Andre moved in too. <laughs> Two brothers and one sister on my daddy's side. So yeah, that's like six siblings. I got six siblings. It's three and six, so I have nine siblings. Oh my. In total. 
something like that. I hope I got the math right. I feel like I'm forgetting some people. How are you both mentally? That was from Ken. Hey, Ken. Wait, did I ask the last question? Go ahead. About the how many siblings? Yeah. Ask that question? Yeah, you answered. So I just asked two in a row? No, I asked that question. I then shut up. You don't even know. <laughs> Mentally, like I'm in a good, I'm in a good space. Finally, like in a long time, I haven't like, I'm finally happy. I feel like for a long time, like I struggle with like consistent happiness. Like sometimes I still have my days where I'm just like not feeling it or I'm having a bad day. Everybody has bad days, but mentally, overall, I feel like I'm in a good space. I feel like God is like working a lot of things out for me and for us. He really been answering my prayers. So I have my bad days. Don't get me wrong, but overall, mentally, I feel like. I'm yeah, I can say I'm mentally in a good space. Except for like, well, I'm still in a good space, but you know, like when you just have this one thing on your mind, let's talk about this class. Like this one class, like um, Dr. Moreau, if you see this, oh, um, I need you to ask me. <laughs> I'm mentally good, except trying to pass this one class so I can graduate. But other than that, I'm mentally good. I'm happy with life, I'm blessed. Can't complain. Happy. Hey, on it. This one's from Evermore. <laughs> she said, did Future ever hit you up in the DM after the concert you attended? <laughs> did Future ever hit me up after the concert? Yes. Um. Let's not be delusional. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> so, no. <laughs> but I really feel like I left too early. I think that's what it was. Because he was looking at me. I see him. <laughs> And my friends see him. And so, I don't know. I don't know. This girl, I tell you, like, this girl's funny as fuck, no. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is the last question, and it's from Veronica. It asks, what's your relationship status? Spot, are you outside this summer, or do you have a man? I'm going to let Rodrigo answer the question first, and then I'm going to answer the question. If you said spot, are you outside? What's your re y'all relationship status? Taken. Oh. Yeah, I guess that just leaves me. <laughs> By the time this video drops, it's probably gonna be different. So don't <laughs> don't take everything I'm saying into consideration right now. But right now we outside. We outside, but we in we in before the street lights. All right, y'all. That's it for the Q and A. I really yeah. don't have no man for real. Uh, thank y'all for watching. It's more shade than questions. No. <laughs> it's giving trees. Whoa! But this was fun. We're gonna do we're gonna do this some more. The next video that we're gonna do is a hot seat, y'all. So we're gonna come up with our own questions for each other, and we're gonna be what the hot seat. Hot seat, bitch. It's like. What kind of hot seat? What you mean? Hot? How many? Hot? What you mean? What kind of hot seat? The seat's gonna be hot. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're gonna do a hot seat for each other. He, I'm gonna come up with his questions. He's gonna come up with my questions. But that's one of the video for another time. So just stay tuned for that. Um, we got more content on the way. We really gonna be consistent with this YouTube shit, y'all. Cause now we got a kid. Uh, I'm gonna say we got a kitty y'all. <laughs> She's like, I'm, oh. I'm Carly. She's Sam. That's Freddie. No, no. <laughs> we have a video for now, so y'all now we can stay more um on point with everything, more active on YouTube. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Spotlight Chanel. No, my Instagram is Spotlight Chanel. Chanel with a S, not a C, two L's at the end, so S H A N E L L. My TikTok is Spotlight Chanel all together. So Instagram has the dot in the middle. Rodrigo's Instagram is my Instagram is yeah boy dot rod y a b o i d r r o d my bad. <laughs> Dr. Rod. Okay, that's different. And then my TikTok is yeah dot boy rod. Why didn't you just put the dot in the same place for both places? Because they didn't. It wasn't available. Who the fuck stole your boy dot rod? People out there that want to be like me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Make sure no, y'all, we should. gonna, yeah, you don't even know. <laughs> we gonna put him in a car. I mean, we gonna put it on the screen for y'all so y'all can, you know, follow us on everything. Yeah, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. Right. Tune into the video. Y'all wanted us to be on YouTube so bad. So bad. And flip my head. To the mafia. <laughs>
<laughs> my little dread. <laughs> Not for fame. Not for fame. We love y'all. Love y'all.